Hello and welcome to Tollmatic's video guide on how to configure the ACS for custom actuators. The ACS drive can be configured to function with any linear or rotary actuator. This can be used for customized Tollmatic actuators or with third-party actuator companies. Another use can be with non-standard gearbox ratios in rotary operation. Let's see a demonstration. To set up a custom actuator, in the ACS, connect to the drive through TMI and select the Actuator tab. The default is the Tollmatic Actuator. To move to the Custom Actuator, select the Custom Radial button. Under the Model drop-down menu, you'll see Previously Created Custom Actuators. Or, you can select the New button and create a new Custom Actuator. The best recommendation I can give is to name the model or description the physical properties of the actuator. Or, in the case of the ACS being used with third-party actuators, place the model number or the configuration number of that actuator in the description or the model. So we'll call this one New Actuator, and in this case we don't have a description. You can set the maximum stroke, let's choose 12, and then in the case of linear actuators, you must set linear units ratio. So in this case we can say it'll travel 2 inches for every 1 motor rev revolution. If you're setting up a rotary actuator, it is recommended to do this process with your units pre-selected to rotary units and to ensure to click the allow rotary move types. Once you've set up the new actuator or custom actuator to the proper units ratio and stroke, you hit save and now you'll find your new model in the drop down menu. Previously selected is Tollmatic's custom LZT actuator. You can see that We've created a 12 inch stroke and a unit ratio of 2.365 inches per one motor revolution. This concludes Tollmatic's How to Configure a Custom Actuator in the ACS. Thank you for watching.